Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today we're going to make some uh, do-it-yourself tiki torches and I'm real limited on supplies here so what I decided to use was tin cans. This is a pineapple can here, pineapple juice can. The other cans that I used were um, small pop cans here in the Philippines. Any can will work as long as you have a tab on it and all you do is put the tab around this way like that and then what you're going to do is feed the wick down through the the can just like that. You could make the wick shorter if you wanted to or you could add sand or something to the can to take up some of the space inside there but all I'm going to do is just feed that down in there and once you have the wick fed all the way down in there all you do is slide the tab over to the side and that will kind of pinch the the wick then fill the can up about halfway with I'm using kerosene because that's all I have here but you can also use uh, tiki fuel of course which would be much better or the tiki fuel with the cit citronella in it which would be even much better than that and then what I did was I just dug a small hole in the ground and buried them up to about here and then found a coconut shell and I keep a coconut shell over the top of them and that's to keep the rain out and the coconut shells are actually used as a snuffer also to put the flame out but they work real well and uh, when I get a few more cans I'm going to try to but my goal is maybe put 15 or 20 around my personal area so it'll kind of light it up at night be back in a second this is what the in the ground tiki torches look like when they're not in use I put a coconut over the top of them to keep the rain out of them and then you can see all they are is a this is a small pop can they have in the Philippines here and then there's a wick in there and the wick goes through the tab and it's pinched over to the side so it doesn't fall back in and for fuel I'm using just straight kerosene and they work pretty good and then I'm using the coconut shell as a snuffer also just put that on there and it just puts the the flame right out they seem to work pretty good I know they uh, put a lot of a lot of smoke out in the air to combat the mosquitoes the only thing that would be better is if you had tiki torch fuel in it with uh, the citronella that would make a big difference but I only have six of these so far and I get some more cans I'll probably put another six out so they did, they did a pretty good job lighting up the area last night along with the fire so so far it's a pretty good idea we'll see how it works out in the long run be back in a second Now this is the ground level tiki torches, how they turned out. Need a few more of them. Only had enough to make six. But they brighten up the air pretty nice. Got a nice fire going. Alright, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch our videos. Please subscribe, click like, and by all means, share our videos. You can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Thanks a lot and have a nice night.
Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today we're going to make some uh, do-it-yourself tiki torches and I'm real 